Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending September 1st. I'm putting this one up a little bit late because Friday I went to downtown Chicago and attended Chicago Critical Mass. It's an event featuring two-wheeled, not motorcycles, but two-wheeled bicycles. It happens the last Friday of every month. This time about 3,000 bicycles converged on downtown and we went on to a nice ride for about 15 miles or three hours. Unfortunately, I didn't make it the whole way. I had a flat tire, but it still turned out good and very enjoyable. So it didn't end up being that much of a problem like I thought. I will, if I get a chance, maybe put a little bit about it next week when I get things, or through the week maybe when I get things a little bit more coordinated, get some of the footage edited. Unfortunately, during the ride, my camera most of the time was pointed up at, more at the sky and the buildings than at the riders, but I'll see if I can put together something about it. First up. And Madison, Wisconsin, comes September 27th to 30th, and I hope if somebody is in the area, they do end up putting it and posting it on YouTube. They're having a science festival. This is the second time they're having the science festival. It's going to feature such things as Are You Smarter Than a Monkey? and the physics of football. They're going to have drop testing football helmets, and they're actually firing from a can, and they're going to foam, they're going to fire foam footballs from a, an air cannon and they promise explosions. So I guess it's going to be kind of Mythbuster style since they're promising explosions. So if any of my viewers or you know somebody that's in the Madison area that's going to attend this and can get some shots, I would love to have them if somebody could get some video and send my way about the time this happens. Next up, this was sent in by Tom, Navy Thomas 8. Thank you for the link on this. This is Sony's action camera that's supposed to be, some people claim it's a GoPro killer, but I think at a $199 price tag it may give it a run for its money. It's fairly small in and of itself but when you put it in the waterproof case I think it's just about the same size and just about as bulky from what I can see as this the uh, GoPro camera. Um, it has an external mic according to, according to the article I guess there aren't any out for sale right now but that'll happen shortly. It has an external mic. It does not have a, an adjustable lens like the drift cameras where you can line it up so you do have to line the camera up straight. If anybody does get a hold of any, uh, it does get a hold of this camera and you could make some video for me, I would really appreciate that too with the review on this camera, especially another fellow Moto vlogger. I always like the, the reviews from the average person rather than the promos from Sony or somebody that they, you know, a professional journalist that they lend the gear to. I think it's a little bit more genuine when it comes from one of us. And this one's from NASA, not about the Curiosity rover. As a matter of fact, I went to the Curiosity rover website and they've got some kind of software that you're supposed to install so you can explore Mars along with the rover. I couldn't get it to install on my machine, so I might try later and see what I can do about that. Um, no other news really about the rover other than that that I found out that's really um, something new or spectacular. I guess everything's going along and all systems are go, everything's working fine. Uh, I'll try again if I can get the software installed and it seems like it's something fairly good. I think it gives you some kind of 3D views or something. If I successfully get it installed, I will let everybody know. But anyway, this NASA uh, article is from Engadget. NASA awards $100,000 grant for a sideways supersonic plane. And it's kind of it's kind of a cool concept because of the fact the plane takes off. It doesn't really even have a true sideways. I mean, if you want to consider it, the plane takes off sideways and then flips 90 degrees. What it does is to change the wing approach into the uh, direction of travel. It takes off with very wide wings, and then it flips 90 degrees to very narrow wings. And it's shaped similar to a throwing star, with uh, obviously on opposite sides, the, um, you have one set of wings that are small, one set of wings that are large. It's pretty interesting. The uh, person that is doing this is from the University of Miami. They don't say whether it's a student or a professor. Their name is Geiching Jia. And as usual, all the links to everything I'm talking about pretty much will be down below. But if you get a chance, check it out. It's a, a different concept. I'm kind of curious as to how they're going to get the thing to rotate safely 90 degrees in air after it takes off. Supposedly, it's going to, uh, just before it goes supersonic, it's going to expose the um, smaller wings to the direction of travel. And they say pretty much come close to eliminating the, the, the sonic boom. And this one is from my friend Mick from Australia, Bugsplat TV. So if you want to check out his channel, it's Bugsplat TV on YouTube. Creative sheep sculptures made from rotary telephones. These sheep are made of nothing but rotary telephone parts. That's all they're made from. But they are really cool looking. The bodies of the sheep themselves are made from old 
phone cords. The artist's name is Jean-Luc Cornec, I believe it's Jean-Luc Cornec, and the website that I am showing this on is crookedbrains.net. I will show about three of the pictures because I want you to actually go to the website if you're interested in this. Uh, there's ten pictures here on the website, so I'll just show about three of them. And then go to the website and check them out too. There's, there's a few other websites to carry this, but um, this Crooked Brains was the one that had the best pictures and the most pictures. Uh, so anyway, I believe that's about it for this week. Um, I will try, like I said, I will try to get some more information about the Chicago Critical Mass. I will put a link down below, so if you want to explore it yourself before um, I get a chance to put up some of the video about it or anything like that. There's no actual, uh, the way this works, there's no actual official website for Critical Mass. Anybody can make a website about it. It's, uh, I guess they call it an anarchist philosophy. Everybody just comes together, and when everybody agrees on something, that's when it happens. So nobody's an official sponsor of it. It's just a group of everybody doing things like this. That's what Chicago Critical Mass is about. So that's about it. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.